For the first time at SpaceX in Hawthorne, we got a first-hand look at the Crew Dragon that will soon launch NASA astronauts into space. I'm overjoyed. I mean, I, it, this truly is a test pilot's dream, and I'm, I'm excited about the whole thing. And we saw it all, from how the astronauts are training, touch screens and buttons in case of emergency, to the suits they'll be wearing. For seven years, American astronauts have had to hitch rides into space on Russian rockets. Now, it will be American astronauts on American rockets launched from American soil. And I'm really excited to bring my family and my friends uh, to, uh, to a launch again. The Crew Dragon and another built by Boeing hopes to safely deliver astronauts and cargo to the International Space Station, ushering in a new era for space travel. Robert Bankin and Douglas Hurley will command the capsule on its first test mission. Being able to fly a first flight of a vehicle as a test pilot is is a once in a generational type of opportunity. I think the only thing that I can add to that is the importance for me personally to kind of return human spaceflight to the Florida coast, uh, back to the United States. This is a model of the Crew Dragon. Inside there are four seats, just like this, but room for seven. Now for astronauts to get to the International Space Station, it will take anywhere from six to 24 hours. What are we doing to make sure it's safe? We always ask ourselves, you know, would you fly on this and more, would you put your family on this vehicle? Now, this is the first time NASA has partnered with private industry to launch astronauts into space, bringing with it so many possibilities for us and all of Southern California. What's exciting for this area is actually very exciting for this entire nation. Now, SpaceX does plan to launch its first flight with astronauts aboard next year. On that first crew flight, there will be two. After that, four. In Hawthorne, I'm Lisa Siegel, CBS 2 News.